always great catching up with my next guest, and he's got a mega fight coming up here November 25th as part of the PFL Tournament Finals against Stevie Ray. It's Olivier Aubin Mercier back here on the program. Olivier, how are you, man? Yo, ça va? Uh, bien. I'm good. I'm doing doing very well. Uh, it's it's good to chat with you, man. First off, I just saw before we hopped on here, you were doing bar stool. I know you're getting a lot of media ahead of this fight. What's that like, uh, you know, getting all this exposure heading into this big fight? I don't know, a pain in the ass, I would say. it's. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't like to do that. Uh, but yeah, you have to do it. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I mean, some of you guys are okay, but not all of you, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. At least so you and I have done a few interviews. Yeah, I was going to say, you you and I have done a few interviews, so I think I'm on the, on the good list here. But Are uh, you sure? Are you sure about that? In, I don't think anyone's been forcing you to do these, do these interviews with me, man. So I would I would hope <laughs> I'm on your good side. Maybe it's because I'm Canadian. I don't know. I'll, maybe maybe yeah. I'll find out later. But uh, hey, man, before we uh, obviously get into the fight, congratulations, uh, making it to the finals. Have you had a chance to reflect on the run that you've had and, and just you know what you've been able to do in PFL? Because it's been an amazing run. No, I didn't have time. I mean, I'm going to reflect after the the final. I think right now it's not a good time to do it. Uh, but yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm a little bit proud, but nothing, nothing, nothing more than that. What has been your most difficult fight to date in the PFL now that you've sort of looked back on, on some of those fights that you've had? Um, like just the fight would be uh, Nathan Scholl for sure. Uh, but for the training camp would be my last fight against uh, Alex Martinez was a pretty uh, yeah it was hard uh, in between my uh, my ear and it was hard uh, for my body too so it's yeah I think that that would be the the hardest um, if we count the, the the training camp. Do you ever I, again I know you haven't been reflecting too much but do you kind of think back to the fact that you chose to go to PFL and you know let's say you'd stayed with the UFC this is a fight that probably would have happened in the UFC although now you guys are fighting for a million dollars like how cool is that kind of looking back on making that decision of you know going to another organization that's going to you know pay you a lot more it must be pretty satisfying Yeah for sure <laughs> if we fought in the UFC we probably have made like I don't know 60,000 each <laughs> yeah. so it's pretty funny that right now we we can win maybe like a, but it's more than a, a million dollars i mean we we fought twice before that so it's it would be more than like a million and 100k uh this year so uh, i think that's pretty that's awesome i everything that's awesome and it showed that like you can you can fight elsewhere and just live from fighting too you don't you, you, you don't need to be in the UFC anymore. And I think that's really good for uh, all the athletes. I agree. Um, what have you made of his run? Uh, Stevie Ray, I mean, there was talk about him retiring and then he's in PFL and he goes on this incredible run, the two wins over Pettis. What have you made of his run to, to this fight? Yeah, I think it's it's pretty amazing that he was going to retire and then he's in the final for the $1 million. Um, and for his run... Uh, I would say, yeah, the, the easiest run. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he fought Alex Martinez in the first fight. He, uh, he lost uh, against him and uh, he fought Pettis twice. So basically, he, he fought two people. And uh, I, I do think my run was uh, a little bit harder, but at the end of the day, it doesn't change anything. I mean, he's going to be there in the final and he's going to be there to... Uh, to take the million dollar from me and I'm going to be there to take the million from him. So, um, doesn't change anything, but uh, yeah, I, I do have to say that I'm not that impressed by his run. Oh, you almost had it. You could have said, I have not been impressed with his performance. You could have taken GSP's quote there. Yeah, but I, you know, I'm friend with GSP and <laughs> I don't, I don't want to, to take his swag, you know? Yeah. I understand. Uh, that, that's a fair point. Um, how are you looking at this fight from a style perspective, you and, and Stevie? How are you looking at this fight? Uh, interesting fight. I mean, uh, we are two softball. Um, he showed pretty good uh, uh, leg lock in his uh, last couple of fights, and uh, I was really impressed with his uh, ground game. Uh, but uh, for sure, we are a little bit different. He, I would say he's more on the tougher side, and I'm more maybe on the technical side. Uh, so I think it's going to be interesting, and it's always those kind of fights that make it uh, uh, make it cool, you know, the the stylistic. So it's yeah, I'm I'm looking forward for that. 
Training camp, anything different for this one or who have you mainly been working with? I know we got a lot of time before the fight, but what, what is training camp going to look like from here on out? Yeah, it's it's pretty hard to get set bar in, uh, in Montreal right now, uh, but I'm going to find some. So right now it's more uh, physical um, we work, uh, maybe a little bit on the ground, a little bit wrestling, a little bit uh, boxing, but it's more to get ready for the training camp. Uh, so I'm I'm doing mostly uh, uh, physical stuff. So um, I, I'm gonna find some people. That's for sure. Just right now, um, a lot of my training partner uh, are orthodox and need to be southpaw. <laughs> right. So yeah, they they are mad at Stevie to be honest. What about bringing guys down from Ontario? I know there's been some of those guys. Uh, you know, you got Niagara top team up there. Uh, is, is there any sort of, you know, thought of bringing guys uh, out there? You know, reaching out on social media, anything like that? Um, I don't really know the the Canadian scene, uh, but yeah, for sure, I would like to to bring some of them uh, in, in Montreal. Uh, um, but uh, for sure, there is Galvin Tucker that uh, is a really really good supporter from uh, the UFC. Uh, but I didn't contact him. I mean, I'm going to see if I really need to contact him. But if I if I do, I will. When does the weight cut process start for you? Again, we got a lot of time before this fight. When will that sort of start you dieting and getting down to 155? Uh, I'm going to start probably in a, in a week or two. But nothing crazy. And it's getting a little bit harder the last month. But it's... Like, I did my weight three times in four months and that was the first time i was doing it and the last time i did it against alex i really i was pretty scared and it was the easiest time yet and um yeah i think uh, i think i got my groove now what anything different like that you've been doing for your weight cuts why why do you feel like it went easier i'm not sure maybe i lost some weight uh, the day before uh, not a lot, and the 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 morning of the fight, out of the of the way, and uh, I lost a little bit more. But normally, I was maybe losing ten pounds the morning of the fight, which was not that bad, but not that great either. But last time we we did half and half, and it was like so easy. Um, so yeah, maybe we're gonna do that again. And uh, actually, probably pretty sure I'm gonna do that again. Okay, I know uh, George St. Pierre. Uh, he he does the the carnivore diet, or at least, and I know he sells the supplements as well too. Is that something you've dabbled in at all? Well, I don't sell the supplements, but yeah, I, I do. <laughs> I, I'm I'm doing it a little bit. I I, w- I wouldn't say I'm a carnivore, but more uh, animal based. So uh, yeah, I cut some of the stuff, and I I I love it. I mean, it's easier to uh, to uh, to lose weight. And uh, it's a pretty easy diet to to uh, to do, but for sure at the end of the of the the, the training camp, I, I want some vegetable. I really like vegetables, so uh, it's always hard. But um, I feel it's the z- easier way uh, to to do it with the, that diet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good to know. And then your corner, I imagine Frost will be in your corner. Who else will be in the cage with you that night? Uh, it's gonna be Mix Frost. It's gonna be Richard Ho. It's gonna be Firas. Um, I mean, they, they have been with me since uh, the beginning of PFL, so uh, they're going to come back for sure. Like, I think that's uh, that's okay. normal, you know. Maybe GSP is going to be on the first row. That's what he told me. Uh, really? We don't know. So, yeah. Yeah. He, they told, he, he told me that if it's in v- Vegas, it's going to be there. Uh, so, yeah, PFL better do that in Vegas. Well, I think regardless, he, wherever it is, he should be there. This is a big moment in Canadian MMA. You know, first, I believe you're the first Canadian finalist to make it, right? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure he told me that if it's in New York City, he, he, he won't do it. So, yeah, I hope PFL is listening to that. So <laughs> do it in Vegas. Oh, why doesn't he want to go to New York? Uh, because who who like New York? I don't like New York. I mean, nobody like New York. I, I think it's, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, we'll, we'll pry there. Um, and, and obviously, at the end of this thing, you get the million dollars. I'm sure you thought about what you're going to do with it. Uh, what, um, what, what, what would you do if you if you won the million dollars on uh, September or November 25th? Well, I don't know. I'm going to do nothing. I don't think anything's going to change. Maybe I'm going to get a little bit a bigger uh, apartment, but even there, I'm not sure. So yeah, I guess gonna like buy me the peace of mind. But other than that, I'm not sure right now. Maybe I'm gonna buy some Bitcoin. I mean, it's crashing pretty bad right now, so it's pretty tempting. 
so let's hope it's still crash when I get the the million. Is the million more important or the, or winning the PFL championship in your opinion? Uh, I do think the PFL championship is uh, more important. Um, yeah, I do think so. I, I think it's. Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to have the belt in my in my in my hand. Yeah. Did you find you're getting a lot of support from the Canadian fans just because, like I said, you're the you're the lone one left uh, in in the in the finals? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, you're talking about uh, Rory, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I think, and I think it's gonna get bigger and bigger. Uh, but right now, I mean, everybody is pretty cool with that, and they they are looking forward to it. But I mean, it's still two months away, so um, yeah, for sure. Like I'm doing some already a lot of interview, maybe a little bit too much in my mind, but um, yeah, I feel they they're gonna be in the. Uh, they're gonna support me and it's funny because even though like nothing changed let's say in my uh instagram uh i don't know following or shit like this i feel that i got recognized a lot more now than when i was in the ufc so that's pretty interesting and people really know about pfl now and uh, i think that's what like really surprised me the most it's like they they know about pfl um even though like in in Quebec, it's pretty hard to watch. You can watch it on RDS, but sometimes it's not at the same time. Sometimes it's on the internet. It's not the it's not the easiest uh, way to to watch it. So, uh, yeah, I was surprised that a lot of people like recognize me and talk to me about PFL. Have you talked to PFL about coming to Canada? We could use some more MMA up here. Yeah, I do think so. Yeah, uh, yeah. I hope if I win this, they're gonna come in in Montreal. And uh, just two more quick questions. What did you make of the PFL signing Shane Burgos? It sounds like he might compete in your division at 155. Oh, for real? I thought it was 145, but yeah, yeah. That would he be says great. he's going to do both. Yeah, I think I think he'll do 45 he's and do 55. Both? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> what does that, does that mean he's going to do both? Well, I, I think I think he might. You're going to win two millions? No, no I think. Well, I, I think he I think he mentioned something about uh, you know maybe doing uh, some fights at 45 and then maybe like just to start off and then go into the tournament at 55 because you have to cut so much weight, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, uh, well, that's interesting. For sure, he's a bigger... Yeah, he's big. When he fought Charles Boujourdin, he looks so much bigger than him. Yeah. So, yeah, the yeah, for sure, it's maybe a 155 uh, would be inter more interesting. Anyway, for sure, for me, and um, I think that would be like a great addition to the, the category, yeah. I'm with you there. Okay, last question. Uh, your, your good friend, uh, Rory McDonald, uh, re retired recently. Just your reaction to that. Was it was it time for Rory to, to call it quits? Well, I mean, it was his uh, decision. Uh, like For me, if he's happy with that, he, I'm happy with that. I mean, for sure, he, um, I think he have uh, other things now in life. And uh, I'm looking forward, actually, what he is going to do. I, I think he's going to become a businessman or something like this, but I'm looking forward to see uh, what kind of business. So, um, yeah, I'm happy. I mean, his, his career was so great. Like, for sure, after GSP, he had the biggest career um, in Canada, you know? Uh, and he's going to stay like this for a long, long, long time. I think he's super great. He fought for, not only did he fought for the, the belt, but his fight for the belt was one of the craziest fights ever. So, um yeah i think he should be proud of uh, leaving uh, the mme scene like this i think he's such a great athlete and he started at what 16 yeah which is insane you know so yeah yeah no i'm really happy with him i i, th I hope he he he's happy too olivia thanks so much for doing this i know you've been doing a ton of media i really appreciate it if there's anyone you'd like to thank before we get out of here i'll give you the floor oh no no uh, i'm not <laughs> no you right, mean man. my sponsor? <laughs> yeah, sponsor, social media, anything like that, man. Ugh. Okay, yeah, I can't I can thank like <laughs> bet ninety nine, I guess. There you go. Hey. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, they sponsor me, but I have to say I'm pretty proud because um and I'm, I'm giving my pick every um every UFC and I think I uh like the last five events, I I'm a winner, so yeah. Yeah, go go. go follow me and my pick and go go bet for on on, on bet ninety nine.